So in this video, there are unfortunately a few exceptions to electron configuration. There's not very many. There's just two groups that we need to know. One is chromium and down its group and copper and down its group. And it's important that you know which elements and why. So if we look at chromium, uh, its electron configuration abbreviated is argon 4s2 3d4. But it's really not. So the idea we have to talk about here, first of all, is that full sublevels are most stable. Okay, They're most likely to happen. A half full sublevel is almost as stable. And then a partially full sublevel is really not very stable at all. So for instance, if you're talking about the S sublevel, S2 is full, so that's the most stable. S1 is half full, so that's almost as stable. It's only a little less stable. For D, full is 10, that's best. D5 is half full, that's next best. Any of the rest of these are unlikely to happen if there's a way of fixing them. Now, they don't always get fixed, but here's a couple exceptions where they do. So if you can see that chromium is 4s2, 3d4, what it really happens is it's 4s1, 3d5. It's not that we do it, it's that nature does it. It goes from full and partially full to half full and half full. So two halves are better than having anything that's sort of partially full. So this just happens in nature, and there's nothing we can do about it. So in that group, chromium, molybdenum, tungsten, and Sg, um, seaborgium, instead of 4s2, 3d4, it's 4s1, 3d5. Instead of 5s2, 4d4, it's 5s1, 4d5. Same thing with tungsten, although there's those little f orbitals in there to annoy us. And same thing with seaborgium. The second exception comes with copper and its group. And perhaps you can already see that 4s1, 3d10 is going to be better. Instead of full and partially full, which we don't like, half full and, and full is better. So again, with this group here, you've got uh, instead of 4s2, 3d9, 4s1, 3d10. 5s2, 4d9 is really 5s1, 4d10 etc. So those are the exceptions and that's why they happen. 